Hello my dears, welcome to my channel, wish you all health and happiness. So by the title you should know the content now. Um, so but think again because this is not only a review but I've collated uh, specific details about every app and I've shared my feedback on the 24 hours usage experience as well. So these are not only the best alternatives but you will get the best choice as well. So uh, please watch till the end and video coming over there. Let's see the alternatives and which one is the best. First alternative for TikTok, I've automatically excluded uh, Mitron because it was deleted from Play Store sometime back and reinstated. So there are some comments about user data privacy issues. So you are seeing the folder which I've tested the apps. First we are going to see Chingari. So Chingari it has got basic video editing and you can play and record videos at different speeds. Uh, you can apply filters and you can add audio to video. Um, it supports a lot of regional languages and uh, the search engine has some issues um, because you cannot find the exact word and uh, but the, you have the news section with various categories and uh, there is a section for games where you can see a lot of games and you can play them without installing next one is Roposo Roposo has got basic video editing variety of filters it has got a proper search when compared to uh, Chingari so similar interface as TikTok and videos are categorized into sections like uh, Bhakti, Soulful Codes, For You, Creative, Sports, Digital, Captured. There is a lot of categories and there are a wide variety of uh, videos to choose from. So the best choice after testing is Raposo. Next alternatives for PUBG we have Fortnite and Free Fire. Those are best alternatives. So Fortnite it is compatible only with Android 8 and higher requires a 4GB RAM, it's a heavy game. So Free Fire, it requires only 2GB, compatible with all Android startup phone configurations and it has only 50 players instead of 100. No doors to the building, so it's a fast gameplay and it's got character uh, customization and performance on phone is optimal and it won't uh, get heated up that easily. So I would go for uh, Free Fire considering uh, everybody can use it on their um, existing Android versions. So, so best choice after testing is Karina Free Fire. Alternative for UZ browser, there is a lot. We will see which one is best. First one on the list, obviously, is Google Chrome. So, one of the most used browser with a lot of settings, uh, synchronization settings, password management. And uh, it's similar to desktop version. You will not see any difference when you use it on mobile and it's, it has got a lot of features. Next one on the list is Firefox. It is similar to Chrome, but uh, it has also got multi-device sync and uh, you can send open tabs between desktop and mobile. And, uh, but it sometimes crashes after a new update. So that's the problem with Firefox sometimes. Next one on the list is uh, Samsung Internet. So interface same as that of US UC browser without any ads. One of the most feature-packed browsers, I would say. Examples are native ad blocker, smart anti-tracking, secret mode, and more customization uh, features. Next one on the list is Microsoft Edge. It's similar to Firefox, suitable for desktop with Windows 10. Nothing more exciting, but works well with Windows 10. Next is the Opera browser, it has got a built-in VPN, a native ad blocker, a personalized news feed. So the best choice after testing is Chrome. Alternate for Cam Scanner, Office Lens, everyone knows about it. It integrates with the Office apps. And Google Drive, yes, it has got the ability to scan documents for a long time now and it's a very simple version. Next is Adobe Scan, it has got a lot of features like optical character recognition and cleaning up of text. You can search and find text in a scan document. There are a variety of op options to share. Uh, there are no ads. And when you, um, when you face the document, uh, it's completely automated. You don't have to click any button. It will automatically recognize and it will take a snapshot. And as you see on the screen, it has got some precise uh, features. I took some uh, photos of my kids notebook and it comes up clean so even after sharing this document as a PDF to somebody it it looks great and it's it is clean next is scan pro previously called a scan bot it has got text recognition annotation and search 
you can also apply a filter or a theme to make the document stand out so scan pro do not have a automated click feature you have to click the button and it disturbs the balance during scan sometimes so sign up is not required uh, you can skip the sign up and you can still use the app so the best choice after testing is adobe scan alternatives for share it and sender first one is share all so it has got a lot of ads uh, there is a lag during transfer i try to transfer a 1 gb file it is it took me 2 minutes 10 second which is 10.6 megabyte per second which is not fast next is geo switch uh, simple ui easy to use uh, file transfer between ios and android is very easy no ads 1 gb file took 1 minute 25 seconds which is 13.1 megabytes per second which is fast it shows you the files but cannot find out if it's in phone storage or sd card next is files by google which is easy navigation clean interface supports multiple files uh, types and devices no ads 1 gb file took 1 minute 34 seconds which is 12.8 mbps it's a two in one app you can share your files and also clean up your phone best choice after testing files go by google here is a summary for a glance thank you so much for watching leave a like comment and subscribe for more videos